has been misbehaving. The Wetlands Discovery Outdoor Learning Center, located in the Conehatta community, is a government-to-government -government partnership between the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians, the USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service, and the Mississippi State University Extension Service. Several hundred students from the Choctaw Tribal School System recently visited the Outdoor Learning Center. Uh, I believe we've had close to um, uh, over 500 students come through here uh, from uh, the tribal schools and uh, uh, primarily they were looking at the uh, uh, first grade through the uh, fourth grade and of course it's open to more grades and uh, as they're willing to, uh, to work with uh, uh, the leadership in order to get uh, times to come out here it's going to be open for them. Uh, what you see here is uh, the, the wetland, part of the wetland. Uh, several years ago, as I understand it, um, the tribe passed a resolution to designate this area as, as a wetland. Um, and from that, uh, we, we partnered with, uh, with uh, Tim Oaks and his program, USDA, uh, and the uh, Forestry Department, Natural Resources with the tribe. And we came up with uh, having a, a, a lab, applied science, if you will for our students. Uh, a couple years ago we tried it on a one-day basis and we had all the schools participated and uh, this year we're from our learning experience we're doing it by a uh, segment by going to a couple of schools uh, per day so uh, today we have uh, uh, Stan and Pine and, and Redwater here today. As the students follow the walking path around the learning center they will encounter several designated learning sites that cover everything from natural and cultural resources to wildlife that may be found in the area. Well, we had 10 stations set up for as many children as you'd like to uh, uh, have a lot of different uh, things for them to examine and look at, uh, to learn about. We had the cultural station, which involved uh, uh, Martha Ferguson and her staff, some people from Kona Hatta here, Miss Chickaway and others, assisted in showing uh, the baskets and how they were uh, developed and worked and as a craft and a culture uh, aspect. We had um, uh, an insect station for uh, entomology. Uh, we had several people that were involved with that. Uh, we had uh, uh, an area that uh, looked at the, uh, the, the animals of a wetland. So what I want to do is teach you a little bit about the mammals that live here or might live here in a wetland like this. You see all this water around you? behind me and behind you guys here. Okay. No, you, it would be very cold and wet. So, But there are animals that live in this water. There are birds and fish and, and amphibians. And you're going to learn about some of those animals at the other station, just like you learned about the little insects that live in the water. I'm going to teach you about some of the mammals that live in water. And we also had uh, a, a story reading uh, about uh, uh, typically a, a American Indian story of, uh, involving uh, alligators and wetlands. Although the hunter's own luck had been bad, he saw that the alligator's luck was even worse. My brother, said the man, I pity you. Then the alligator spoke. His voice was so weak that the man could barely hear it. We had uh, uh, an area of cultural resources which involved uh, uh, looking at cultural resources and cane. Uh, and how it's planted, and the kids got a chance to plant some cane. Does anybody know what this is? No. Cane. They call it what? Oski? Yeah. It took me 10 years to learn about this stuff. We also had a wildlife area uh, where they learned about wildlife and the, the animals out in the forest. In Mississippi, where we live, the one that we're going to see is the eastern wild turkey. And here's a picture right here. If I'm a turkey, I'm a grown man. I'm a tom or a gobbler. So why would they call me a gobbler? You make the gobble sound. So are you a gobbler? If you were a turkey, you know what? What's your name? Michael. Michael. You know what your name would be if you were a turkey? You'd be a Jake. I'd be a tom or a gobbler. You'd be a Jake. A young male turkey's called a Jake. You know what you'd be? You'd be a Jenny. <laughs> Young female turkeys are called jennies 
You know what your teachers would be? It'd be hens. <laughs> hey, this is what this is what your teacher sound would sound like if she if she were a turkey. She may sound like this in the classroom. I don't know. <laughs> And here's what I'd sound like if I was talking to her. <laughs> we had a, uh, an area on reptiles in which they uh, learned about uh, snakes and how, which ones were poisonous, which ones were not. Now in Mississippi we have 55 different kinds of snakes. Are all 55 poisonous? No. No, that's right, they're not. How many of the 55 are poisonous do you think? Anybody got a number? Ten. Yeah. Now ten's a little high. Five. 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 Uh, five's Four. close. Give me one, one more than one, five. One, six. One, six. six. Yeah, we only have six snakes in Mississippi that are poisonous. All right, this one's a copperhead, all right? He's known for that copperhead. He's got copper hourglass bands, and he sometimes is a copper color, all right? Now, these guys are very close cousins. This guy likes to be around water. This guy likes to be around forested areas. Now, can they intermix? Can no. they be found in the same place? No. no. Yes. Yes. yes, they can. And you'll see as you walk up here, there's going to be a pond out here. We're in a forested area here. you got water right there, so they can intermix in the same areas, okay? And uh, we also had an area of uh, uh, natural resources and forestry. We had a plants section. And I'm a, uh, one of the guys who helps take care of y'all's woods out here, the trees. And these are some of the tools and some of the things that we use to work in the woods. This is a uh, tree caliper, which we use one of our measuring tools for measuring trees. And we also had a, a guest, a special guest, Smokey Bear, was here, so that was very good for us to, to see Smokey come out. Uh, we had a, a rabbit stick throwing section, so they have a little entertainment to go along with their studies. The school can schedule any time that they would like to come out here and, and work with us. We'd be glad to help uh, with uh, orchestrating something with them. Uh, just if it's three, three or four classes would like to come out, or even just a class itself, if they'd like to come out and learn more about wetlands, uh, that's what the education area is open for. Oh, here now. <laughs> the Wetland Discovery Outdoor Learning Center is available to all grades and all schools within the Choctaw Tribal School System. This is Carl Butler reporting for Channel 5 News.